Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Partridge from www.jackiepartridge.com. Today I'm going to show you some flower printing that you can do with acrylic paint to add some texture to your painting and just to experiment a little bit with materials. This is a great activity to do with kids but adults are welcome to add some of this technique into their painting as well. So what you'll need to get started is a rag, a container of water, your palette of paint. You can use whatever colors you want. Um, this is just really an experiment, so you can use colors that you're really drawn to. If you have extra paint in a certain color, you can use that. You'll need a brush, uh, really any type of brush is fine. I'm using a flat one inch brush, so it's going to be easy to apply the paint to the surface of the flower. And then you'll need a piece of watercolor paper. This is an old um, painting that I did. Uh, it is with watercolor, but if you want, you can lay down some washes with acrylic paint. So just add some water, and create some kind of background. So you can choose a couple of colors, not too many colors, you don't want it to be too overwhelming. So just choose some colors that go together. So in this painting, I have some green, I have some blue, um, and I'm leaving some white space of the paper as well. You'll also need some painter's tape just to hold down the edges of your paper. You can use masking tape as well, but painter's tape is a little bit easier to peel off when you're finished. And then you'll need some flowers. Uh, you can use some leaves as well. So I have some ferns, some baby's breath, um, some daisies and carnations. So just use whatever flowers or plants that you have inside or outside your home. All right, let's get started. All right, so we have all of our materials ready to go. So I'm just gonna start by taping down the watercolor paper with masking tape. And this is just going to hold it in place. It's going to keep a nice white edge along our paper and it's going to stop the paper from buckling or curving. So you can just tape it directly to your tablecloth or whatever surface you're working on. So like I said, this is an old watercolor painting that I'm going to be painting on. Just make sure that you press the edges down so that there's no bubbles where the paint can get under. All right, awesome. So how I made this, first of all, if you want to do something similar, is I cut out different shapes of flowers and leaves and I would apply it kind of as a stencil and then paint around it with different watercolors. And you can use watercolor paint to do your background. You can use acrylic paint as well. Add water to it and it kind of has the same effect as watercolor paint and becomes kind of this transparent wash. So you could use either watercolor paint or acrylic paint in your background. And so what I did is I just kept layering different shapes of flowers and leaves. So when I add my flower prints over top, it's going to add kind of another layer and another dimension to this painting. So it's gonna look really cool. So with your flowers or leaves, you can just rip off sections that you like. You can get rid of certain leaves if they're damaged or they're broken. Um, and just kind of choose the ones that you want to work with. So again, you can use any type of flowers for this. It's a bit easier to do a flatter flower. So something like this baby's breath is gonna be hard to kind of paint, but it's gonna create a cool texture. So just use what you have lying around. All 
Awesome, so now that you have your flowers chosen, what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be taking your flat brush and applying the paint directly to the petals or to the leaves, and then you're just going to press it down in an area that you like on your paper. And you can do this on a plain paper as well. Obviously, the print is going to stand out and really pop. Um, so that's why I've kind of, I'm going to be adding it to this old watercolor drawing. So what you can do first is you can just kind of arrange the flowers in an area and kind of plan out how you want the paint to be applied. You can have some that go off the page, that always looks cool, so they don't need to be just in the middle or anything like that. And once you kind of have your arrangement and you're happy with it, then you can start applying paint. So I think I'm going to use um, some white paint. So you want to make sure that you're getting all the petals nice and evenly and it's hard to see because I'm painting on a white daisy with white paint. You want to kind of choose the colors that are going to go with the painting that you have. So if yours is a purple background then maybe you want to add some light purple flower prints on top or maybe you want to add some pink or some gray. So start thinking about what colors go together um, on your painting. So once you've added the paint, you're just gonna press everything down, kind of smooth it with your fingers, make sure that all the petals are being pressed down. And once they're all pressed down, then you can just slowly kind of release it. And see the design that you have. So it's nice and subtle, but it looks quite cool. And like I said, flat plants are a bit easier. So we're gonna do it again with this fern. Got a petal on me. So I just paint the whole thing. And you wanna brush it on versus dipping it in paint because if you dip it in paint, it's gonna be very clumpy and the paint will be a lot thicker. So because I'm painting it on, it's gonna be thinner and a little bit easier and nicer to work with. You can wear gloves if you don't wanna get your fingers dirty. If you're painting with kids, you can choose a more non-toxic paint like tempera paint, something that is more washable especially if you are doing this with younger kids, like toddlers. Okay. So once you kind of have it in position, 
you're just going to lay it down and you can press down with your fingers And then slowly pick it up so that you're not smudging it. Okay. So this one I think I'm going to do like a lighter blue. It does look nice to kind of have two tones as well. So I have some areas that are more blue painted and some that are more white. So you can kind of mix colors on the different leaves and just experiment with this and have fun. That's why it's nice to kind of paint on like an old painting or drawing that you're not super attached to. Just to experiment and kind of play with. So we're just going to take this and lay it down. If you want, you can get something kind of heavier, like a wood block or something that would be easier to kind of press it down. Or you can just use your fingers and get a bit messy. you're pressing each leaf down okay. and you can lift up awesome Let's do one more. Add a bit of blue on there. So this is a cool technique to do if you've already painted flowers and then you could do this print over top. If you painted a daisy and then did a daisy print over top, it might look really cool. It's nice to just be able to paint with other things besides a paintbrush or a palette knife and just really experiment and play around with it. All right. So this one we're going to kind of put in the corner. I 
and then just pull it up. So now we're just going to zoom in and take a look at this. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel. There's new videos every single week, some for just kids like this video and some for adult beginner painters as well. So make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. Again, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Jackie Partridge Art and use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes so that I can see what you are doing and what you are up to. Thanks again. Bye.